Okie dokie, once again, okie dokie. It's been some time since my latest update, report, or whatever you want to call it. So here you go. Back uh, in uh, mid October, uh, Larry and I did a bit of road trip and uh, decided, planned it, and planned it and did start off in uh, Muktahan. On the 13th of October, uh, the King of Thailand was pronounced dead, and a period of mourning began. This meaning that uh, boat races in Muktahan and those type of events were canceled. Also, the illuminated boat procession in Nakhon Phnom, which is a major, major uh, event in Nakhon Phnom, was canceled. Strangely, as I understand it, the uh, Bonfai Payanuk boat procession and event in Nongkai wasn't, was not canceled and went on. Now, I've come to find out that the illuminated boat procession, not boat races, but the illuminated boat procession, uh, will be or has been rescheduled for the 14th of November. Now, there's no way, what happens at these events is people borrow money and a lot of people have to go to loan sharks to get the money to open the booth to sell stuff at this event. Hopefully the tens of thousands of people show up and people make money. Now, these people borrowed their money back in uh, the week preceding or the week of the 9th of October and things like that. And uh, these people are in really bad debt now because there's no way they're able to afford, you know, in many cases, even the interest. And the interest is collected daily in many of these cases. So I, you know, looking at the number just traveling around, my usual travels around uh, the Northeast here, there are no shortages of the money collectors, those big guys in their black helmets on the big motorcycles out collecting money from these people. Well, sadly, there's little to do. But anyhow, going on down in Bangkok, uh, the mourners decided, you know, for many years in Thailand, especially in Buddhist countries, white is the color of mourning. And it's also Pakao's wear white because it's sort of, uh, you know, they've given up their, their, their life, normal life, family life. Whatever, so they wear white. Some time ago, black became the new white, and I, I kind of asked, and uh, people go, it's more modern, people go, whatever. Uh, I assume it's because people can make money off of it, and black being, you know, and then white, white at some places is still very important, and, in, in, you know, I used to live right next door to Wat Prata Chung Chum, and... Uh, you know, white could become quite a fashion statement, and a lot, of, a lot of the auspicious events that take took place there. You know, women managed to wear their white so tight there were more camel toes at the Wat than you'd see in a Saharan caravan. You know, in places like Timbuktu. But anyhow, they're just going on. Well, now what's happening? What was happening in Bangkok was people attacking. You know, to show the love for king, they attack their brother ties and cousin ties because they're not dressed appropriately and things like that. But yet there still is no shortage of garbage being left behind by the ties where they go to mourn. I guess it's their way of uh, making an offering in honor of the king. Anyhow, uh, be that as it may, you know, the king, I've been to a lot of the uh, projects that he and the Queen both st started. Many of them are really wonderful, but most of them seem to be pretty much ignored. One in particular that struck me some years ago as being useful was the 30-30-30-10 thing for small farmers, part of your land for water, part of your land for trees, part of your land under this, and 10% for that. And I couldn't find it. You know, I wanted to go someplace and take pictures of people practicing this. And I kind of think, came to find out when looking for it that, well, nobody does it because they don't think it's going to work. But the king, the king was really his sustainable development was one of his big things. And uh, 
Here recently, somebody, there's an opinion piece in the uh, Bangkok Post. I just kind of scanned it, didn't really look at it. But, uh, you know, as far as sustainable uh, development goes, I mean, all you've got to do is look at the levels of pollution in Thailand. And I don't understand how that's considered sustainable development. Also, the trees that are gone. I mean, most of Northeast Thailand used to be, you know, wooded. And it's gone now. So, uh, you know, the sustainable, you know, uh, sufficiency economy, people, you know, not being in debt. And even the Bangkok Post continues to report, you know, people, Thai people are farther and farther into, you know, into major debt and all of that. So, I mean... uh, Somebody once told me years ago when, you know, all these used to people, you know, the followers of Ajahn Mun, followers, you know, they follow Ajahn Mun. And they, they, none of them lived in a way that Ajahn Mun seemed to advocate. And I asked a couple Thai friends about it. And I came to learn that Thai people, you know, respect a man, but not necessarily his teachings. Or they love the man, but not necessarily, you know, they sort of ignore his teachings because it's whatever. But, you know, going, going to like the Pupan Royal Development Center, uh, the one here in Sikonnakon, where well, there's a couple in Sikonnakon, one at uh, Kutnakam that the Queen uh, really, and they've gone for years. They built this beautiful stuff, and I was out there finally a year or two ago. And now they've just got kitschy ashtrays and, 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 and stuff like that. They still do some crafty or, you know, arts and crafts type thing that's quite beautiful. But the majority of the stuff, I, you know, people said, well, they don't sell. So, you know, people, it, there's there's no face in sufficiency economy. And it seems like people just don't seem to, uh, you know, be terribly interested in, you know. And then coal, I mean, they use a coal, and you know, for power. In Thailand, you know, the, the air pollution is, you know, making people sick. As, you know, as, as it says here, you know, and I mean, I've seen it, I've been places, you know, you see, you see trash, you see air, air pollution, you know, from vehicles alone is places like Bangkok, you know, I get back here to Isan and I blow my nose and just black gunk comes out. So um, I don't understand, I don't understand morning, I don't understand how Thais show their respect. And I guess it's something, you know, Westerners, you know, just don't. You know, when you're in a polluted place and, 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 you know, it's been preached against, but people don't seem to care. You know, the uh, chemicals, chemicals used, you know, by farmers is, you know, it's, it's, but chemical companies are making their money. Anyhow, uh, I'm planning a couple days in Kankan to relax and have a few beers with Larry and some of the guys and uh, stop. And then I'll be going to uh, Muktahan to find uh, Site Viking, which in 18 years, in more over 20 years, I hadn't heard about it. Uh, nobody in Muktahan seems to have known about it, even though I'm doing some research there now. But I uh, hope to find a site where Americans served during the... Uh, Vietnam War. Anyhow, it is uh, the passing of the king is certainly a sad event for the Thai people, and I sympathize with them and hope that they manage to uh, continue like we all have to do and learn. You know, I hear very little about Buddhism during this whole time, and this is where, you know, Buddhist teachings, you know, under, understanding attachment. You know, trying to, trying to wrap your head around the anger and, 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 and the things that people, you know, are demonstrating during this time. I think it would be a very useful time for people to find, find refuge in Buddhism. Anyhow, that's sort of enough of me. I'll include a link to the, uh, what you call it. And I kind of got a hunch in the near future there's going to be more of me talking than, well, it's not really typing, it's hunting and pecking. So you all take care and uh, be good. It's a jungle out there.